Relations class of 2017. I'm honored to share this pivotal day in your life with you, your families, and your friends. And I want to thank Dean Pisano for inviting me here, as well as distinguished faculty and my UCSD mentors who have all helped shape who I am today. As you graduate from the engineering school, there is a blank canvas in front of you. The space of that canvas is the earth and its vicinity. The time of that canvas is your own individual lifespan. On this blank canvas, we engineer not only devices, materials, systems, structures, and processes, but we also engineer our own careers and lives so as to manifest strength, utility, and beauty. The recipe for success, I believe, is threefold. First, Identify external gradients towards your inner purpose. Second, capitalize on inherent opportunities presented by this gradient using your most authentic self. And lastly, engineer the means for exploiting these gradients while fighting the chief villain in our lives, namely the second law of thermodynamics. <laughs> and not just because of the bad grade you might have received. Let's talk about first the gradients. A gradient is an imbalance or a difference across a distance. For example, Think of differences in temperature, pressure, chemical concentration, voltage, or more generally, income, knowledge across regions, and so forth. The gradients are the fundamental sources of opportunity. When Yoda in Star Wars said, feel the force, he meant feel the gradients. <laughs> A water wheel converts the energy gradient of water flowing from high to low into useful work. Similarly, our intent is to harness the external gradients that exist in the society and the universe, social, economic, political, technological, physical gradients so as to create beneficial structures and to manifest constructive complexity. Unlocking and harnessing these gradients requires us to apply the infinite and inexhaustible tools of creativity, awareness, and imagination, while leading us to discovering and extending the frontiers of mathematics, science, and technology in the process. In my case, the gradient that led to the notion of brain-inspired computers was the observation that there was a billion-fold disparity, imbalance, between the function, the size, the energy, and the speed of the brain as compared to the computers that we have been building since the time of ENIAC. Now second, let's talk about purpose. Discovery of external frontiers, first and foremost, starts with the internal discovery of our own authentic self. From this place of inner integrity, we pick problems of universal importance and establish 
audacious goals to solve them while matching these goals to our specific individual gifts. We then work backwards from these end goals and chart a course to achieve these goals. As facts change, we never compromise on the destination, but we continually revise the path. In any situation, we do not react, but we rather consciously act because there is always room for creative response. In every moment, in every interaction, in every relationship, we bring all the positivity of our entire existence to bear. And then we do it again and again and again. To truly win, we don't put just our skin in the game, we put our soul in the game. While it's important to strive for success at work, it's equally important to maintain work-life balance and choose, choose an inner state of happiness. Despite life's paradoxes and challenges that inevitably you will find. And regardless of success or failure, we win personally, each of us individually, by finishing what we start. And by graduating today, all of you have demonstrated that you are winners and finishers. <laughs> Lastly, let's talk about the villain, the second law of thermodynamics. Yeah. <laughs> it basically means that if a hot room is connected to a cold room over time, the temperature difference vanishes. Essentially, the second law of thermodynamics serves to efface and eradicate all gradients over time, leaving increased entropy, random motion, chaos, and disorder behind. Left to its own unengineered devices, the second law will only produce heat and waste. It's not possible, regrettably, to fight or defy the second law at a global macroscopic level. But within the confines of local space and time, it is indeed possible to engineer means by which gradients produce useful work. Some engineer had to purposefully do the hard work of inventing and perfecting the water wheel to exploit the potential energy of water, which otherwise would have remained stagnant. The second law, unfortunately, will have its way eventually. The water wheel, for example, requires maintenance to keep running and ultimately will decay and descend into ruin. But while it lasts, it will enhance human life and perhaps serve as a stepstone to greater progress. This is the eternal essence of engineering. This is why fighting the second law is so worthwhile. The ring, in my mind, symbolizes our resolve to courageously stand up to the second law in all its manifestations. So in conclusion, next time that we meet the second law of thermodynamics, let's rub our magic rings. Let's look at the second law in the eye and say, not today, <laughs> my friend, you're dealing with a graduate of the UCSD's Jacobs School of Engineering. <laughs> Congratulations again, my friends. I wish you the very best of luck. And let's end this by thanking all our teachers, all our mentors who have given us the very best and have made us what we are today. Thank you. Okay, well, uh, thank you, Dharmendra, again, for uh, the interesting insights and the illuminating perspective. 
I never thought that uh, Yoda would be giving engineering students uh, sage advice. We are very proud of our alumni, and I would now like to take this opportunity to honor our future alumni, our graduating students, our outstanding faculty, and our inspiring student leaders. First of all, is to invite our invited speaker, Dr. Moda, to come on up to the podium. And you are going to be the first person who I award the ring to tonight. Thank you. Okay, one down, 474 to go. Here we are.